What is going on guys, it's Murray Dwarfer here, welcome back to another PS4 video. So this is not part of the PS4 Jailbreak tutorial series, this is a bit of a separate video here where I'm releasing a new version of PS4 AIO, which quite a few people have been requesting. So what is this? If you've not heard of this tool before, it's an all-in-one kind of mod tool for all the Call of Duty games on the PS4, or that are playable on jailbroken PS4s anyway as well as having some other useful tools thrown in there as well. So um, because of the 6.72 jailbreak, we're now able to run a couple of the newer Call of Duty games on the PS4 jailbreak now, like Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare that were not runnable back on 5.05. .05. So I've gone ahead and added some mod tools for Modern Warfare and for Black Ops 4 into the tool. And I've also gone through in the previous Call of Duty games as well, and updated them to support higher game versions that are now runnable on 6.72 as well which were not runnable before on 5.05 .05. so that's the main thing that this update actually does and i've also gone ahead and added some more mods just in general into these tools you know i've added player speed and no clip into tools that didn't have that before i've also added different visions that you can you know select and change between I've added the ability to, you know, change your FOV in certain games, do wall hack, uh, edit your game time, you know, end game, FPS, draw FPS, change the FPS text, even enable object gravity, which kind of changes the gravity of miscellaneous objects in the map so that if you interact with them, they start floating up into the air. Uh, even more visions like snow vision, dark vision, chrome vision, all that kind of stuff. Uh, being able on some games to like, you know, load a map from within the game you can just switch to a different map or restart the map restart the game and also unlocking trophies on some of the games as well like uh, world war 2 you can only unlock the multiplayer trophies in the tool but on modern warfare remastered advanced warfare and ghosts you can unlock all the trophies in the game which is actually pretty cool because if you have a retail ps4 you can technically uh, unlock the trophies for your retail profile on your retail ps4 by joining the game like a LAN game that your jailbroken ps4 is hosting and then on the jailbroken ps4 you can select your uh, your retail player and unlock all the trophies for them so that way on your actual retail console that you use on psn you can unlock all the trophies on those call of duty games 100 percent complete on all those trophies which is handy so yeah, I've added a bunch of extra features into the tool. So that's basically it. So in this video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick setup and show you guys how to use the tool and some of the features that it has. So let's get into this first of all. So if we switch over back to the computer here with the tool open. Now the tool is pretty large. I will admit that um, I can't be bothered resizing everything. So, you know, it supports up to like 1150 by like 720p resolution. You should be able to fit it in your screen if um, if you have a screen set to that resolution or higher. This is zoomed in by 150%. So, you know, normally it wouldn't be this large on my screen anyway. But uh, yeah, so if we head into the console tools, first of all, you've got a payload injector. So the payload injector works by adding payloads to the different folders. So for 6.72, you just drag some payloads into the 6.72 folder, which is in the uh, install location of the program and then if we switch to 6.72 here those payloads now show up and you can select it and inject that payload using the bin loader on your exploit host on 6.72 or 5.05 .05 or whatever you can do that um, also if you want to just quickly drag a payload in from your computer just to load it once then you can select custom and then just drag a payload in here and inject it that way there's also a menu injector which works in the same way put any mod menu payloads for gta or something in the menu section on ps4 aio then you've got the package merging utility which does pretty much what you'd expect so if you have any retail game updates that are split into multiple parts then you can you know merge them back into one file again and there it is it's done and we have the two files combined into one so it's merged and then you can install that merged package file using the debug settings package installer. So the next thing we have is FTP. So for the FTP stuff, you need to run the FTP payload on your jailbroken PS4. So if you go on to the exploit host 6.72, run the FTP payload or 5.05 .05 or whatever, it works on both of course. You want to use the payload version 
not a version inside a homebrew app because the payload version uses port 1337, which is what the tool uses. So there we go. Welcome to PS4 FTP listening on the IP address. So you just put in the IP address of your PS4 into this box right here, 137.46, and then you can connect. So we've got the UI editor. So if we connect here, the UI editor to allows you to swap out your app images, which is how I did that one with my avatar right there. So I can select something like Red Dead Redemption 2 and then just drag my an image over the top and that will replace it with that image and then I can apply changes which will upload all of those changed images back onto the console. So when I reboot my console I'll now have those images set as my main app images right there which works. Um, also you can do system apps. Now system apps are for extraction only, they're read only. Um, so the only reason why you'd grab the system apps is probably if you're making like a custom theme or something and you want to get the original system apps so you can edit them in Photoshop for a custom theme or something. So the next thing we have is the FTP browser, which pretty much just does what you would expect. It allows you to browse your hard drive using FTP and, you know, you can import files, export files, etc. So that is the console tools. Then you have the, you know, the actual mod tools. So to use a mod tool like for Modern Warfare, for example, what you need to do is first of all, load the bin loader, which you have in 5.05 .05 and 6.72. You've got the bin loader and then the bin loader basically stops after it says waiting for clients. Then you just make sure you're selected on the correct firmware version up here and you have the PS4's IP address entered in the bottom left. And then you just hit inject payload and there you go it says launching payload payload success exit window using ps button and there we go then you just run the game that you want to mod so one of the call of duty games okay so once you enter the game we can hit modern warfare connect and that will connect us to the game as you can see ps4 aio connected and then we can fetch the clients which grabs all the players in the game and then you can activate different mods. So we can do, you know, God mode. Uh, we can do freeze player so I can't move. Uh, we can do third person. We can also do things like, you know, unlimited ammo and thermal vision. We'll disable third person. We can increase our player speed so we can move faster. All that kind of stuff. Uh, also, of course, there's a wall hack so you can kind of see through walls. Uh, we've got, what else? body chams so all the players kind of show up in this yellow um, kind of makes them stand out more uh, you've got disable HUD to turn off the HUD and a bunch of different visions there's like purple thermal blue thermal uh, you know white screen regular thermal uh, you've got uh, inverted thermal vision lots of different things some also weird stuff I've not seen in CODs before like uh, the ability to kind of almost change the time of day so it's like really bright or even brighter super bright kind of darker even darker even darker still you know you can pretty much have it night so it's it's like you're playing the night version of the map and uh, even some other weird ones as well like i've not seen this one before orange sun kind of almost like a like you're in a desert or something and then there's also a fog as well that you can activate so everything's kind of foggy or misty like you're in a, some kind of steam room or something okay so i switched maps here real quick to show you guys some uh, teleportation as well so i can teleport myself to the sky try and land on top of this building right here and of course you can teleport you know players to you so you can teleport a player to my location right here and where is he there he is so i can teleport him to me and then of course i can teleport all players to me right here as you do which is a, a classic right there um and then finally you can of course teleport to a selected player okay let's just pick a random player here and teleport to their location teleport to selected player and boom there we go so yeah, anyway, as you can see guys, that is it. That is PS4 AIO updated to 6.72. Also, one thing I didn't show was the peak poker um, where you can connect to your process to the game right here. 
So we can select the executable, peak, and then there you go. So you can edit stuff in here. It's got a few different features. You can dump the window, dump your selection, toggle the string view. So you can change the font color of this. So, you know, just to whatever kind of stands out best for you. God, that's awful. Let's not, let's not do that. But, you know, you can, you can change this so that uh, it stands out better for you. And then you can also, you know, there's other features built in here as well. You can copy and search for a sequence of bytes, for example, and look for next occurrence of those bytes. You can also search for text string as well. If we change that text string, you know, you can search for text string up here. So it has some handy features, it tells you like how many bytes down you are from the base address and what the address you're currently selected on is, which is useful. It can also give you some conversions for integers and floats and doubles. So you can highlight a bunch of bytes and see what kind of value they are. So yeah, it just makes it handy for finding stuff. I actually used this primarily to make the Modern Warfare and Black Ops 4 tool. So I used the PS4 AIO uh, peak poke tool to add mods to, to itself, essentially. So yeah, it can be pretty handy. And of course, it still supports all the same game versions it supported before. If you're still on 5.05, um, you can still use it on 5.05 as well. It's been updated as well so that it supports the Windows 10 2004 update, which stopped the older version from working due to a packer I was using that uh, doesn't work on that version of Windows 10, unfortunately which is why a lot of the tools that uh, I've made are not working on Windows 10 right now. So I'm also working on just doing little updates for those to get them working again. Also, I recorded a video of me actually coding the Modern Warfare tool for this uh, for PS4 AIO, showing how I actually, you know, make these mods for the game. So if you're interested in me uploading that, let me know because it is it's something I would rather live stream, but I can't because my upload speed is terrible. Like really bad like one megabit per second if i'm lucky so i can't really live stream it so i just recorded it instead so it's like a two hour long uh recording so you know let me know if you really want it because i i will upload it because it will take probably days for me to upload it but and i know something like that doesn't get much views so only if you guys want it i'll upload that to show you guys kind of give you guys an overview of how i made this tool from start to finish not the whole ps4 aio just the the Modern Warfare tool that I added to it um, a little while ago. So anyway, that is it for the PS4 AIO overview. Check it out. There'll be a link in the description to where you can go to download it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.